Now, China has made history. The Chang'e's six mission achieved a historic milestone by returning samples from the moon's far side of Earth, a first in space exploration. The mission's return capsule landed in China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region on June 25 at 2.7 a.m. EDT. Launched on May 3, Chang'e 6 includes a lunar lander, a return capsule, an orbiter, and an ascender. The lander touched down at the Apollo crater within the South Pole Aitken Basin on June 1st and collected about 4.4 pounds of lunar material using a scoop and drill. This material was transported by the ascender to the orbiter, which began its journey back to Earth around June 21st, culminating in the successful landing of June 25th. While not the first lunar sample return mission, Chang'e 6 is unique in that it collected samples from the moon's far side, an area more challenging to explore due to its position away from Earth, requiring a relay satellite for communication. The far side's spa basin from 4.26 billion years ago offers scientists new data to understand the moon's history and the solar system's early years particularly the late heavy bombardment period. This research may provide insights into the origins of life on Earth. Chang'e 6 follows China's previous far-side mission, Chang'e 4, which landed a rover in 2019. Future missions include Chang'e 7 and 8, set for 2026 and 2028, aiming to establish a moon base near the South Pole in the 2030s, leveraging water ice resources for sustainable exploration.